Hello everyone. Oh, wait a moment. Okay, good. I've been having issues with uh, my Periscope app today, so I'm glad that I see a couple of people. Hey there, Bobby, coming on in and get it set up. Hi. So I'm in Vancouver, uh, Canada, British Columbia, and let's see. Uh, straighten the hair out a bit. Hello there, Mary. Thank you for sharing, Bobby. Hi, Teresa. Oh, and thank you for for um, Bobby for telling people on Twitter. My it said that it didn't um, it didn't make the announcement on Twitter again. So I don't know what's up with that. Hi there, Deray of Light, and thank you for inviting followers. Hey, hey, easy. Um, didn't quite get that. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa, for inviting people. And Josephus, is that how you say that? Josie, Josephus77 for sharing on Twitter. Are the flowers, oh yes, they're beautiful flowers here. Uh, tulips and pansies and daffodils are just gorgeous everywhere. This is my second trip up here, bringing Draco to see his mommy. And it's just gorgeous. And even though it's been raining a little bit, it's still, we've been running all over the place today and it's just, the air is so refreshing and it's just so beautiful. Thank you, Mary Royal, for inviting followers. Um, in case you haven't been here with me before, my name is Mahalo McKellar. I'm the mother of Danica McKellar and Crystal McKellar. Hey there, Brittany. And, um, I'm a meditation teacher certified by Dr. Deepak Chopra and I care about the food I eat. I've cared about and looked into and oh, I see these weird lights around here. Oh, that's better. Um, the flight was good. It was it was actually arrived early. It was it was very good. We flew up on Air Canada and we'll be flying back. Um, I forget which one. Anyway, uh, we used Air Canada coming up here and it was very very nice. So, so what I'm doing today is showing you what I do to stay healthy. Oh my goodness, you, you've got the flu and pneumonia. Oh my goodness, well be well, oh my. Um, I hope they give you lots of wonderful and loving care while you're in the hospital. Yes, if you fish and you eat fish, the salmon up here, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's wild salmon. Not you know, it's not caged in somewhere and being given all kinds of weird stuff to eat. So hello, Megan. So let me show you. Let me turn the camera a little bit. And this kind of uh, let me see. I'll lift this up. So and I just put it all in this box to to give you an idea. Let's see if it's. The box looks bigger than it really is. Just how little you need to bring with you. And I do this pretty much every time I travel. I think the only time I don't bring all this stuff actually is when I go to San Francisco and that's because it's so easy for me to, uh, there's a little cafe there called The Plant and they do pretty much everything I do and it's all organic so I don't have to bring it with me. The rest of the time I do. It so happens here in Vancouver, I've got a full kitchen. It's small, but it's a full kitchen. But I do this, all I need is a, you know, one of those small refrigerators, which pretty much every place has now, and, and a way to, to heat coffee. A coffee, a way to heat water, which is usually, there's usually a coffee maker in every room, right? And um, so with that, I'm able to at least start my day the way I do at home, um, and in a, a healthy, wholesome way. So just to show you what's in here, the first little thing that I, and, and I'll go into this in more detail in another scope, but the first little thing I have here, you see this? It looks like, kind of looks like tar. <laughs> um, I get it from the Chopra Center. It's called BioChaven. It's an antioxidant jam, and the basis of it is the amelki fruit and the, um, the health benefits are wonderful. The, the, the original recipe um, came about 
came about thousands of years ago. I have to tell him about that place. Yes, it's called the plant, like a plant. And there's one, um, there's one at the airport, uh, Terminal 2. Hey, Louis. Um, and, um, uh, where, and they have several. There's one in Burlingame, which is down the coast from San Francisco. That's a full restaurant. Um, and then there's one in the marina. There's one downtown San Francisco. They have several of them. And everything is locally sourced and organic. Every single ingredient of everything they have to offer. And it's, um, anyway, and <laughs> So I start my day sometime in the middle, in, the, in my morning. Um, I have a teaspoon of the bio -chaven. And then I do drink coffee. I like um, to have a cup of coffee in the mornings. And, when I, and I grind the beans fresh at home. They're organic beans. When I travel, because I don't know what I'm going to have available to me, as long as I can get hot water, I bring organic instant coffee. And I also, when I'm home, I add cinnamon. I add a half teaspoon of organic cinnamon to my coffee in the morning. Um, I just want to bring cinnamon into my diet, and that's just an easy, really delicious way of doing it. And uh, so this is actually, it already has the cinnamon mixed into it since it's the instant coffee. So I have that. I bring a little bottle. This is... Forgive the label. This used to be some sort of homeopathic drops, and when that when that um, uh, was used up, I washed it really well. So I have this little glass bottle, and even the the dropper part is glass. And I've got organic stevia in here. Yeah, it doesn't. It does. Oh yes, Lewis. Yes, cinnamon and coffee. It's so good. When I first started doing it, I was doing it for the sake of ingesting the cinnamon every day, and I was like, oh, it's kind of strong, and and then I got. It didn't take very long to get used to it, and then I'm like, when I have when I have um, coffee that doesn't have cinnamon in it, there's like this doesn't have enough flavor. Um, I use stevia. I use organic liquid stevia as my sweetener, my sweetener of choice, and um, and sometimes I don't even bother with the, with the sweetener. And then I'll put usually almond milk um, if I want to have something milky like with the coffee or cool it down a little bit. Uh, I hope the liquid stevia doesn't have to be refrigerated because I don't refrigerate mine. <laughs> so let's hope not. <laughs> All right, so then what else do I have? Well, you know, I bring what I need to make my ginger tea. So I've got my grater and my ginger, my organic ginger. Um, I have some organic raw honey, and um, and I like my, my maca. It's called maca matcha maca tea. Um, I don't have it very often. However, I do really like it, so I don't know why I don't have it more often. Um, so I have my organic honey, and this is good to have with you when you travel in case you start to get maybe like a dry or sore throat. You can just you know, have a little bit of honey dissolve in your mouth. It's really good for your throat because um, honey kills all kinds of stuff as long as it's raw honey. Yes, and manuka honey is even has even more of those qualities. I don't believe this is manuka. I don't remember for sure because sometimes I do. I do get it. Thank you, Joey Giggles, for inviting folks. Um, and then of course the lemons, and and. Um, so I am able to make my ginger tea, start my, my morning with my ginger tea. Even before that, I do the oil pulling, I bring my coconut oil. And, and this can go, I mean, this, this was a ch in, in my checked bag, but um, if I'm not, uh, thank you, young, young Eek Dream and Lewis um, for, oh, hi, sweetie, Danica just joined us. Um, so if, this is a small enough amount, this can go through security, you know, because even though it's solid now, it can become liquid if it's warm enough, and this will go through security. So I do my oil pulling. Um, even though at home I usually use sesame oil for oil pulling, when I'm on the road, this is so much easier to transport. Um, so, and then it's, it's uh, oh, thank you, sweetie, for inviting people. I think I just got, <laughs> anyway, I uh, just got the notification. 
Um, so I do the oil pulling, and then I have this for the final thing, which will will um, be the conclusion, more or less, of this scope, which is my morning smoothie. So I have, and, and I brought with me, because I knew there wouldn't be a blender here, um, um, and so when, and whenever I travel, I did this when I went to Maui, I brought all this stuff with me, and every morning, <laughs> But they didn't have breakfast included in the in the seminar package. Uh, why I don't use coconut oil? Is that what you said? Um, and when I'm home, I use sesame oil. Sesame oil, that's the traditional Vedic way of oil pulling. That's what's been used for thousands of years. And so... Um, and I actually like the way it feels in my mouth more. And there's, you know, there's some studies that say coconut oil has more um, uh, germ killing or whatever qualities. And then, you know, some that say sesame oil has more, some say coconut oil has more. And, and so I figure I'll do both. I'll do both. So, got my little, my little uh, Nutribullet. And again, I don't use this at home. Because it has a plastic container, I like to stick with glass as much as I can, stay away from any off-gassing from any kind of plastic. So I have my container. Let's see how I can place this so you can see. Oh, it's not going to do it for me. Oh, well, container. And then I start with almond milk. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I take that back because I'm on the road for sure. I need to start with my nuts and seeds. And in here, I have a combination of walnuts, uh, pumpkin seed, hemp seed, and flax seed. And I'm just going to put about maybe, try not to use up all the walnuts here, um, about two tablespoons in here. And I, I change out what nuts and seeds I use all the time. I have a whole bunch of different organic raw stuff at home. And um, <laughs> I don't travel like Danica. <laughs> the seeds I have in here right now are flax seed, pumpkin seed, and hemp seed, and then walnuts. So I'm not going to take this. And because you want to crack the shell of the seeds so that um, the nutrients get released for you. Pardon the noise. Okay. So now I did that. Now to this. <laughs> Making Shibichi and Phoenix. Who said that? I don't know. Stim Jeff. Are you a math or science person, Jack? No, I don't sprout them. I do not sprout them. So I'm putting, this is a smaller container, so I'm gonna put about three quarters of a cup of the almond milk. I might do a full cup if I had a larger container. And then I have, <laughs> this box is endless. I have pre-mixed here um, two different kinds of vanilla protein powder, organic stuff, um, because one of them is vegetarian or vegan, actually. It's vegan, and it has extra fiber mixed in with it, and the other one is whey, and I'm kind of like, I don't know which one is better for me, so I use both. And then to that, I've added, so there's, there's one full portion or serving of uh, protein powder, and then to that, I added three tablespoons of raw, organic, 100% cocoa powder. Not sweetened at all. It's just the real bitter with all the wonderful antioxidants. So that goes in here. The coconut oil. And now the one thing I don't have, because I couldn't find it at the market here, and, and it doesn't travel really well, is spinach. Is spinach. So we're not going to have spinach in this. But if I were home, I would be adding two good-sized handfuls, um, at least one good-sized handful of, of organic, raw baby spinach. Somebody asked me about the cocoa powder. You know, kale is really good for you, but for me, it has, for this, this 
and you know, in a drink like this, it has too strong a flavor, where the spinach has a sweeter, lighter flavor. All right, and so just more noise. <laughs> Now, again, this is something I don't think I have. Hold on just a second, folks. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't have ice. But there again, most places you travel to, I'm sure if I went down the hall, I could get some ice. Um, but I do not have ice. If I did, I would add between four and six ice cubes to this, and I would blend it again. The reason I do it in two stages is I found if the ice is in here with the coconut oil, I end up with all of these sort of frozen clumps, you know, of coconut oil instead of it actually getting blended in with the drink. So this is it. Um, this is what I have for breakfast a lot of the time at home. And um, you see that? Can you see it? It's, a, it's really good. It's really, really good. Oh my goodness, yes, it's very chocolatey. It's very, very chocolatey. Hey, April, mail the gloves to you. <laughs> you can oil pull with them, right? <laughs> you could add anything. I mean, sometimes I make this as, as a vanilla um, shake and, and um, or smoothie. And when I do it without the chocolate, um, then I'll use, um, I like to use almond butter or peanut butter. Peanut butter to me is a treat because, you know, there's some sort of a natural fungus that grows um, with the peanut. So we don't want to eat peanuts. We don't want to consume peanuts or peanut butter on a daily basis. So I consider it to be something of a treat. Thank you. Nice to meet you too, cyber or somebody. Um, I'm not a fast reader here. My apologies. Hello, Connecticut. Yeah, okay, sun kiss. Yeah, well, you know, we, they, they recommend that we take in about a tablespoon of coconut oil a day. So it's kind of like, you know, getting that half teaspoon of cinnamon that's so good for us. Um, and, um, you know, put that in my coffee and then the, the coconut oil. And also the oils that you get from, from walnuts and seeds are so good for you in so many different ways. And you don't need to have a lot of any of it, just that little bit each day. And, um, and then if you take oil-soluble supplements, excuse me, oil-soluble supplements like vitamin D, especially a lot of people take vitamin D supplements these days, you want to take that supplement when you have a natural oil in your, in your body, a natural oil that you've just consumed, like the coconut oil, the nuts and seeds, that sort of thing. It helps it to really assimilate and get used by the body. I have no idea how many calories it is. No idea. I've done calorie count. Oh, but there's brown hearts for the chocolate. <laughs> Thank you, Sun Kiss. Yeah, Danica's my favorite to watch. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Now I've got totally. What was I talking about? Can't drink that too strong. Um. Okay. Oh, thank you, Louis, for inviting people. Oh, the calories, yeah. Because, you know, I mean, cal calorie counting and, you know, the whole idea of calories in, calories out. Um, I know there's something to that, and yet I have found that it really matters where the calories come from because the body reacts so differently depending on the source of those calories. So I focus more on bringing... Um, did you read about all the insecticides? Well, that's why, Mary, that's why I, the, the insecticides, that's why I um, tend to go toward organic as much as I possibly can, which fortunately these days is much, much more. Right, well, that the more sport you do, the more you eat, that, or vice versa, actually, the way you wrote it. Um, that That's true, and that's about the calories in, calories out. However, again, I... I found that it depends on, for me too, where the calories come from. If they're coming from a lean protein source, if they're coming from a complex carbohydrate, if they're coming from a refined carbohydrate, way difference because the body metabolizes things differently. And especially over time, 
eating the wrong kinds of foods then causes the body to get out of balance and then things really don't get metabolized properly. So, um, yeah, oh, Purple Hearts now. All right, everyone. Well, I should get going because Danica um, is in another uh, apartment in this complex cooking dinner for me and Draco and herself. And I'm going to guess that um, I'm going to guess that dinner's about ready and I should get going. I was there just before I did the scope. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I totally forgot. Where did the bananas go? <laughs> What did I do? I didn't put the banana in. Half a banana. The banana fell down at the bottom, and I was counting on the stuff in the box to remind me what to do. <laughs> so there's a half a banana. I'm going to be posting the recipe. There's a half a banana in this. I'm going to I'm going to put it in, and well, I requ well I require to get the meditation. Uh, I don't um, I don't know what that question meant about a meditation book. So I'm going to put the half a banana in here and redo this because I want the whole thing. This is going to kind of be dessert with Danica's dinner. Um, well, I'm in Vancouver because Danica is here filming her very mysterious movie. And um, I flew up with Draco so he can be with his mommy on her days off. Hold on a second, folks. <laughs> Okay, you know, I kept thinking I was forgetting something, and then and then I thought, well, you know, it's probably because I already pre-mixed some things for traveling. Um, what is she fixing for dinner? Um, she has um, roasted chicken, and uh, when I was in her room, she was just starting to uh, steam some, I think it was broccolini, not broccoli, broccolini. We managed to find some, we went to this uh, local store, and they had an organic set. A se section. <laughs> well, I think she's probably done cooking by now, so I'm saying I should probably get going. Um, she's not commenting, so I have a feeling she's not with us any. Oh no, it's been ready for 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, folks, I really need to go. <laughs> you guys, she must have written that while I was putting the banana in. Okay, everyone. Moms love to chat. I do. I really enjoy chatting with you guys. I really, really do. And I'm not the sort of person that gets on the phone and stays on the phone for two hours. I used to be a long time ago, but all right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me, and um, I'll see you guys Tuesday for uh, Chapter 2 of the Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you very much. Ah, I'm getting better at this. Linda, somebody just said Linda. Should I just say hi, Linda? <laughs> Is that a Linda I know? Am I? Did I miss something? Okay, I'll look. I'll watch the replay later, and I'll see what I missed. Okay, bye bye, everyone.